Hello and welcome to Ocolab YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about the features of Ocolab Boldline fully digital stage top incubation system for time lapse microscopy. In this presentation, we'll briefly review time lapse microscopy, the components of stage top incubators, and we will then focus on Ocolab Boldline fully digital incubator. What is time-lapse microscopy? You're trying to image cells on more than one point in time, from a few hours to possibly days. The challenge is how to keep your cells alive while on the microscope. You have to control temperature, gas concentration, and humidity. This slide shows a bold line fully digital stage top system. Let's see it in more detail. All Ocolab stage top chambers are compatible with Boldline Fully Digital Incubator here on the left. The stage top chamber provides both heating and gas conditioning. Our easy to remove chambers have a fast thermal response. Remember to use an objective heater if you're imaging with oil immersion objectives. In the image on the right hand side, you can see a stack of controllers. They're digital for temperature and gas. Each stack requires one touchscreen interface. Humidity is controlled in an active way. It involves a bottle with a humidity sensor lid, a heated base, and a heated and insulated tubing to carry humidified gas to your sample, avoiding condensation. Because of this design, the microenvironmental chamber does not have an open moat with water. We designed it this way for safety reasons, to avoid spilling water on the nose piece. To illustrate the microenvironmental chambers, I will use a K-frame for inverted microscopes. A K-frame simply fits a microscope stage with an opening 160 by 110 mm. This is just an example. Chambers for all stage brands and models, including upright, are available. Ocolab K-frame chambers have built-in perfusion holes. They come with a sliding lid. You do not have to put water inside the chamber to provide humidity, hence there is no moat and no water. Several optional lids are available for the K-frame chamber. A cooler lid allowing you to focus the condenser, an injection lid for the insertion of capillaries, or a laser interlock lid for e laser safety. This slide shows you optional lids that are available for the most common chambers. The sliding lid is always included. The cooler lid allows you to focus the condenser in case your condenser has a short working distance. The laser interlock lid adds safety when using laser applications, and the injection lid is for the insertion of needles or capillaries. Note that the laser interlock lid and the injection lid are compatible only with an insert for a single 35 mm dish. A sample is placed inside the microenvironmental chamber using an insert. This slide shows you a partial list. Please focus on the inserts in the red box. These are meant for multi-well plates. A stage top incubator will require a perforated metal plate to improve thermal uniformity on the bottom surface. However, if you're using an oil immersion objective, the insert for multi-well plates will be an open frame, as shown in the blue box. This will allow the objective to move freely with between wells. Here is an example of chamber for upright microscopes. It's compatible with multi-photon applications. There are several components to the chamber. From the bottom, a heated base with an adapter to your specific stage, brand and model. Chamber walls, a heated lid. The heated base is secured to the stage. The chamber walls are set in place and the heated lid slides onto the walls to find your region of interest. The opening on the lid is for the objective. You can use any objective, including water dipping ones. We provide objective adapters, the semicircles in gray, to minimize the gap between the heating lid and the objective, reducing humidified CO2 dissipation. There are five available sample inserts for this microenvironmental chamber. If you're using an oil immersion objective, you have to use an objective heater, represented here in the image on the right. 
The objective heater has a heating bend, here in yellow, secured around the objective, in this example by a green strap. An oil immersion objective will touch the bottom of the well through the oil and will draw heat away from your sample. This is why an objective heater is required with oil immersion objectives. Let's see the controllers compatible with all Ocolab stage top chambers. You can see all the parameters on the touchscreen display. There are multiple sensors. One monitors room temperature, other control the temperature of the stage top chamber lid and base. Another measures the temperature of your sample if you're operating in sample feedback mode, and we control the objective heater if you're using one. In sample feedback mode, simply place the provided thermocouple in a reference well. This will ensure accuracy of 0.1 Celsius from the set point, regardless of room temperature fluctuations. The same display shows you relative humidity, gas concentration of individual gas, as well as total glass flow. If you want to operate in chamber feedback, auto calibration routines are available. This way, you can account for temperature variations in your own laboratory. Digital gas controllers are integrated through cable-less connections. Simply stack the controllers on top of each other and the connection is established. A single touchscreen interface is used for a stack of controllers. The digital display shows data about gas concentration and flow. Drivers for the most common microscope software are available. This slide shows the active humidity module. This includes a heated base and humidity sensor lid. Humidified gas is delivered to the sample through a heated and insulated tubing, avoiding condensation. Using the touchscreen interface, you can select the percentage of humidity you want to deliver to the sample in the range 51 to 95 percent. Both line, fully digital, is entirely operated with a user-friendly interface. On the home page, you can see tabs for temperature, gas, and humidity. To change gas concentration, for example, press on the CO2 tab. A control panel will open. Simply adjust the concentration by pressing on plus or minus, and then set. Similarly, you can adjust temperature and even humidity. As you can see on the right panel, simply input the percentage of humidity you want to deliver to the sample in the range 51 to 95%, then press set. When you select the equipment, you need to start with the digital temperature controller and the touchscreen interface. You always need both. Next, you have to decide which gas concentration your experiment requires. If you need CO2 concentration in the range 1 to 18 percent, or if you need to expose your sample to hypoxic conditions. In each case, you will have to add a humidity module, and if you don't have access to compressed air, you can add an integrated Ocolab air pump. However, if you prefer using a 5 percent CO2 premixed gas source, then you can use a standalone active humidity system. This will be more affordable. Select the chamber based on your stage, brand, and model, and inserts according to the tissue culture supports you use. Remember to add an objective heater if you're imaging with oil immersion objectives. This concludes this presentation on Ocolab Stage Top Bolt Line Incubation System. If you have any questions, contact us at info at oco-lab.com. Thank you for your time.